Welcome to Intro to LibreOffice Impress by the Mary F. English Program. LibreOffice is a totally free, open source alternative to the Microsoft Office Productivity Suite. Most of the programs that are provided in LibreOffice correspond with a comparable Microsoft Office product. For example, Writer is their version of Word, Calc is their version of Excel, Impress is their version of PowerPoint, Base is Access, and Draw is like Publisher. Now LibreOffice products may not be as sleek and easy to use as Microsoft Office products, but these can cost you anywhere from one to three hundred dollars and this is totally free, so there are pros and cons to each. To download the complete suite of tools, go to www.libreoffice.org. Okay, so the LibreOffice Impress interface looks like this. If this is the first time you're using the program, like all programs, I recommend you go and highlight every single icon you can see on the screen and take note of any shortcuts they mention so that you can have an idea of where things are from the get-go. Now one of the challenges of using LibreOffice Impress is that it's going to save in the LibreOffice Impress file format whereas Microsoft PowerPoint is an industry standard so if you try and send a file in the LibreOffice Impress format to uh, a Microsoft PowerPoint user, the, th the layout of images on the screen may not be exactly the same. You can, however, still save it in Microsoft uh, PowerPoint format by going to Save As and then selecting which version you want. The edit menu here is all very standard on the top half, undo, redo, cut, copy, paste. I don't use the stuff on the bottom very frequently. The insert pull down is very important. You can insert a new slide, you can insert a duplicate slide, page numbers, the insert picture is important. You can put movies on the page, but I don't I wouldn't recommend doing that. I would recommend Google Slides or Slide Rocket for incorporating movies into your presentation. You can also make a chart or put a file on the page. The tasks panel over here is very useful. We can go to master pages and change the default template for the whole presentation. And this is a regular content slide where we have a title and then a text box. We can go to layouts and insert our title page. And it's actually a little off-centered because of the template, but we're going to adjust that. And add a title. We can adjust the font size and type with this toolbar here. So we'll make it bigger and change the font. If we want to make this title animate into the frame, we go to the custom animation panel. With the object we want to animate, we click the add effect. And these should be very similar to the Microsoft Publisher effects. So we can have that come from the bottom very fast. Should probably slow it down to make it look more presidential and we can change the direction it comes in from with these features. So we've got a title slide. We'll go over and right click this area to create a new slide and we'll use a layout with only a title. Type in some text. And we'll go up here to insert picture from file so we can insert our images. Go to here and you can only insert one picture at a time so you're going to have to load each individual picture. Once the images are loaded on the page you can click and drag them, move them wherever you want and you can resize with those boxes that appear when you click them. If you right click any object or picture you'll pull up a lot of options here. A good one for our purposes would be in the Arrange, so I'll click and hold the, the Shift key, click each of these pictures, then right click one, we'll go to Alignment, and then Center them, and let's say that we have them, we want to evenly space them, so we click each of them, go to Distribution, and then we're going to do a horizontal distri distribution with the spacing equal. So now we're ready to put their names on the page. So when you want to insert text, it's not in the Insert tab. There is no Insert Text 
option up here. You have to go to the T in the bottom left corner and then click on the screen where you want to insert a name. So I'll position that and I'm going to copy and paste multiple instances so I can edit them more quickly. If we wanted to create a slide with just one present at a time, I can duplicate the existing one, delete the pictures I don't want, move the image into a side, and write some text, make it bigger, And one more good thing to know is this font work gallery down here will let you insert a fancier font. So we'll go with this one and double click and then type what you want to insert. Click elsewhere. And this looks pretty silly with the way it swoops so much. So all you need to do is go to this yellow button and you can change the angle of that. And something like this. And so those are the basics you need to know to get started using LibreOffice Impress. You can remember to use the animations over from the tasks pane. You can also make the slides themselves transition from slide to slide. And overall, I would say it's not quite as easy to use as Microsoft PowerPoint, and it's not maybe as impressive, but it is totally free, and you would be supporting open source software by using it. That does it for this lesson. If you'd like to learn about other slideshow presentation software, check out one of these other tutorials in this series. Thanks for watching.